uh, as I said before, uh, before getting into the uh, export and import of uh, files, uh, I'll, I'll briefly go over the ABC data set, uh, um, how, how to how to model the bridge using and save the uh, bridge bridge model in ABC data set. So the query, uh, the question is how we define the bridge model in LibBridge Concrete. Uh, basically, we, we recommend the user to uh, model the bridge using ABC wizard. Uh, once the bridge is modeled, user can save the uh, the model as an ABC data set. Uh, they can save it as a master data set and they can reuse it uh, again and again uh, for uh, subsequent geometry changes uh, in their project. So where exactly uh, the ABC data set is saved and also what is the location where the data set is saved, uh, then how to save it. Uh, for this, uh, the user has to uh, go to uh, option, uh, option, uh, ABC data set uh, dialog box or window. Uh, there, uh, the user can uh, give a name to it. They can save as, give a name to it, uh, and click on add and update. So once you click on add, that particular data set will be saved uh, in the ABC data set dialog box. So if, and the other thing is the user needs to know where it is located. For that, the user has to go to options preferences and ABC data set file heading uh, in front there is a three uh, three dot button if the user clicks on that then the user will be routed to uh, the, uh, the the folder where all these files are located so here is a video uh, uh, user has to click on uh, the folder button with the, the plus mark and start a standalone uh, group uh, and click on LibBridge Concrete uh, program. So once uh, the, uh, it is, uh, the LibBridge Concrete program is opened up, uh, user can uh, input the project information and click on preferences. Uh, there in front of the ABC uh, bridge data set uh, heading, uh, if, the, if he clicks on the three button, uh, then, it, then the program uh, will take you to the location where all these uh, files are located. And if the user wants to save the ABC model, then user has to go to Options, ABC Dataset uh, window, uh, and click on Save As. And if the user wants to activate it, he has to click on Activate Set and save that particular file. Uh, and once he opens that file, uh, user can continue with the analysis and design and uh, uh, continue with the rating as well. So in the next uh, video, uh, I'll be discussing about the export and import of files. Uh, for that, uh, user has to create a project. So a new project needs to be created under OBD. Uh, give a name to it as project one and click on standalone uh, option and click on the folder button and give a name to the standalone group uh, as project one. So if the user clicks on OK and clicks on analysis and leave bridge concrete program, uh, the program will open and user can uh, input all the project information in the project tab. Uh, then the uh, user can click on ABC uh, button and with the click of three uh, buttons, user should be able to model the whole bridge, which can be seen in the graphical window of the geometry tab. Uh, then in the superstructure tab, user uh, can click on precast pre-stress girder uh, button and you can perform the analysis and design the girders as well. Once the design is done, uh, user can close the uh, update and close the file and give a name to it. Uh, let's say the name of the file is the, we can keep it as a master file or save it as the original uh, file. So it gets saved under uh, the standalone group as one single file. Uh, user can reopen this file. User can make changes uh, in the file. For example, you can change the length of the uh, span. Uh, he clicks OK and he can perform the analysis and design uh, Uh, and uh, eventually uh, he has to update and close the file. 
and give a new name to it. So in this case, uh, he can give a name uh, as uh, changes one. So uh, so what I would like to sh what I'm trying to show here is uh, user can save multiple files with all the changes under one single uh, project group. Uh, so all the files are saved under single project, multiple files. Similarly, they can create a new uh, project uh, under standalone group, and he can save multiple uh, multiple files uh, at the same time. So the user does not have to go around and look for the files uh, everywhere as it is saved in under single project. And if the user wants to export uh, the uh, any single LibreBridge concrete file, he can right click and uh, say export particular file and save it in a folder. Or if the user wants to export the whole group of files, then he can export the whole group uh, and save it uh, in a folder. Uh, this thing helps when if the file of if the OBD file uh, size is too big and it's it's not possible to email, then those individual files uh, and and those group of files can be emailed to the uh, users. Uh, for example, here uh, those files are saved in this particular folders, project one and project two. Um, users uh, can copy those files. or copy uh, all, all the files uh, and they can email those uh, files to their clients or, or to their colleagues uh, to so that they can complete the design of the bridge. Uh, the other case wherein if the user wants to open the file from another user or, or the client, uh, they can create a, a project group uh, and they can open a LibreBridge Concrete uh, program and and through LibreBridge Concrete they should uh, program they should be able to open the the dot lbc file and and they can uh, they can make changes or, or they can further run the analysis and design. Uh, and finally, uh, they, they have to uh, close and update the file uh, as well and give a new name to it. So uh, one more thing, many times users try to open the .lbc file directly uh, from uh, as a, from the OBD. Uh, if they try to open the .lbc file uh, through OBD, then currently it's not possible to open the .lbc file. The current uh, the the current process or the right process is to open through a LibreBridge Concrete program. Otherwise, the program will show you a warning message, uh, and none of the information will be uh, uh, saved in in LibreBridge Concrete program. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.